Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna go through uh, some good old radios here, CB radios. Starting with the Midland Allen uh, 48 Plus. These are all export radios and uh, we don't see them in Canada very often. Uh, we have the President Jackson, a beautiful SSB radio, AM, FM, uh, USB, LSB. Below we have the Superstar 3900, a classic radio, both of them are classics. Uh, here we have a Midland uh, AM, FM radio, Midland Allen, I can't see the model now. Talk about it after and here we have a president jfk 120 channels 10 watts output and so on and so on let's start with the review guys okay uh this is the allen uh, midland allen uh, 48 plus uh this is an export radio basically all of them are export radios uh, Let's start with this one. It has a six-pin microphone. I couldn't find the original mic, so I'm using the, uh, the President microphone for this. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful radio, AM, FM, and uh, about six or seven bands. We will go through all the features. Uh, you can change channels from here with the channel selector or the buttons up and down, uh, but this will change the band Okay, here's your AM, FM selection and scan. So to scan, you turn off the squelch. There you go. Now we'll go through all the bands. Oh, it's on band F. H I hmm. L A B C and D D being the normal uh, CB band, yeah, C and D. So that's quite impressive. Um, it's a amateur radio, as you can tell, uh, with all these bands and the FM modulation. Uh, we have some memories. You can store up to uh, five memories. Uh, this will take you to emergency channel 9, anywhere you are. It's a very uh, good looking radio. And it's small, it's tiny. Uh, it can fit anywhere, in the dashboard or in areas where there's no space. Uh, this will fit. We have the squelts. Uh, right now, we're not connected to any antennas. We have a dummy load here. Uh, and we will see what uh, the output is if there is any because this radio haven't been used uh, all these radios that i own have been used in at least 20 uh, some years okay uh, here's your rf gain your mic gain AM FM uh, modulation. So switch hands with the camera. And now it's on FM. I'll turn off the squelch. And it's beautiful. And then the scanning, which we just did earlier. Okay. There is a switch here for local and DX. This is very good. Um, 
you can use this to even uh, talk to channel 6 where everybody is there uh, you click the local uh, selection you select local and that um, it doesn't listen very far it, it's like local it becomes local you can only hear uh, local stations it's very good uh, here's your ANL automatic noise uh, limiter filter and your CBPA uh, switch uh, it would be nice if we had an antenna connected to it but this is a very uh, quick and on-the-go uh, review uh, let's see what it does on the yeah so we're looking at the 10 watt scale 2.5 uh, watts and that's on FM let's change it to AM same thing audio 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 um, yeah this is it um, all right and look what else what else I found guys I found the user's manual something that you don't get to see uh, very often this was uh, never opened always in the uh, plastic uh, packaging that came with it these are all the specs uh, and I was just gonna see the scan button with this control you can automatically seek for a busy channel turn the scrolls clockwise okay press the scan button and uh, it will scan automatically the channels but it does not scan the memory channels guys this is the original microphone that comes with it uh, with the up and down I don't know if you can see it with the up and down uh, buttons to change channels while you operate the, the, the the CB radio and the PTT uh, button and on the back here you can see the PA uh, output the external speaker output and there is an S meter why don't we look at the radio directly hold on let's do the connector here And this is the S meter. That little plug here next to the PA uh, switch is to plug in an S meter. And this is good right now for this one because we have all these uh, bands and all these frequencies. This is good if you want to know uh, what, what channel you are. And what else? What else? What else? The schematic. The schematic diagram. There's no way you can find something like this. Uh, I don't know, after 20 years, uh, maybe if you can find it online. This is the schematic diagram. Uh, and back here, we have the block diagram and the PCB layout. Um, yeah, these are, this is very hard to find. Uh, guys so this is it uh, as I said I was looking to see if I can scan uh, memories I programmed some memories already so memory one will be 27 I uh, on memory three on uh, memory two sorry uh, I selected the FM modulation uh, but it didn't save that it didn't save it so if I want to go to memory number two and I was on FM I have to uh, change it from here I don't know why they did it like that and then this is the third memory that I programmed and every as you can see everyone is on a different uh, band uh, it can scan uh, but not it will go through all the bands right now but it doesn't scan the memory so if you have five memories I guess this was the, the very basic uh, when it first came out 
it has a very basic uh, menu um, so it doesn't have all these uh, the memory scanning and all, and all that stuff uh, but I would like to go back to band L uh, let's see L and I was picking up a station here before somebody was cleaning up a very strong signal this is it guys the Allen um, 48 plus Midland Allen CB transceiver uh, here's the box this is it thanks for watching guys and uh, thank you for uh, supporting the channel Thanks.